Back to our team coverage of the Creek County wildfires. Two News reporter Liz Bryant found a new problem for victims of the wildfires. One night I was sleeping in air conditioner, and the next night I'm sleeping in 100 degree heat. Richard Keeling and his girlfriend Ashley still live on their property. I had three trailer houses on this property. I had two trailer houses side by side right here. It's now a little different setup. So we pulled we pulled the seats out of the front, slept right here in the front of my pontoon boat last night. The couple is moving out of the boat. We'll staking their house. claim until further notice. We'll trade y'all places. Y'all can live out here and we'll go back to y'all's house. Richard says looters have already stolen from his neighbors. See, I had nothing. Everything I own burnt. The couple has these two dogs and five kids who are staying with grandparents. We even have people from Tulsa bring us beds. Richard's next plan is to load up all this burnt scrap metal, sell it, and buy a trailer so his kids can come back. So why camp? Why not leave? <coughs> I have no money. Gotta have money. Go somewhere. There are shelters set up. I live in a tent before I go to a shelter. For now, they're getting by with a lot of donations. Hopefully, things get better. Can't get much worse. <laughs> oh, don't ever say that. Well, if I went to jail right now, I'd have air conditioner. You know what I mean? <laughs> air conditioner, three meals a day. Don't ever say it can't get worse. That was Liz Bryant reporting. To find out how you can help some of these victims, go to our